What if I told you that you can have personalized flux images without even having to do fine tuning? Yes, the new technique that we're going to discuss in this video and also see the demo is called Pulid. This is one of the techniques that lets you create a personalized image without any tuning. That's why it's called a tuning free personalized image or ID insertion. So we're going to learn how to do this and we are also going to see very briefly about the technology behind it. First, I would like to quickly show you a demo. The demo as you can see here is, it says pure lid for flux. This is a hugging face spaces. All the required links will be in the YouTube description for you to try out. So there is an image of a person here, a human being, a female in this particular case. And there is a prompt that says a woman holding a sign with glowing green text, pure lid for flux. And as you can see here, this person's face is almost equivalent or closer to what this person's face is. And the same uh, neon lights or glowing green light that you ask for with the text Pulid for Flux is available here. What is happening here is it is a new technique called Pulid. This technique's name is Pure and Lightning ID Customization via Contrastive Alignment. Very briefly, if you were to understand this, in a conventional diffusion approach, if you have got a stable diffusion or other diffusion models, you have an input image and you have got a noise. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to use the noise and then create that input image. So you, you can see here, the upper half of the framework illustrates the conventional diffusion training process. The face extracted from the same image is employed as an ID, condition C ID. So this is the C ID. The lower half of the frame demonstrates lightning T2I text to image training branch, which is what these researchers have introduced. So the researchers here from ByteDance, if you're not sure about what is a company, that is a TikTok company, I guess. So this, these researchers have introduced this new method where uh, you can, you, they've got a different branch, a lightning T2I branch. So it leverages the recent fast sampling methods to iteratively denoise. Iteratively denoise is like basically creating the image from the noise from pure noise to high quality images in few steps. In this particular paper, they're using four steps. So in just four steps from noise, you can denoise and create the final image. So in this branch, we construct con contrastive paths with and without ID. So as you can see here, this is our prompt. So if you see this input image, I've got an input image and I've got a prompt that says Pixar sticker. So basically if you see here, so this is Pixar sticker here, and this is my input image. So one, they create an image without the uh, ID, which is the person photo. And second, they generate it with ID, and then they create a, something called a contrast of loss. And then they finally figure out the ultimate image that you want to create, which is the image with the style or whatever the background is applied. So the main thing that they have figured out is that this branch uh, can produce or insert ID without disrupting the original model's behavior. That's why you're able to use this image, which is the ID. And this is the original model's behavior that you're getting from the base model. And then you're getting the final output. Now I'm not going to bore you with more theory because even for me, it is quite difficult to explain. But if you see this hugging face demo, you would uh, see that there are two interesting parameters here. One is a time step to insert starting ID. The second one is true CFG scale. So I'm just going ahead with the base uh, default setup that they have given us. And uh, you can try it on hugging face spaces. It's a, it, it runs on zero GPU. So you might need uh, to wait sometimes. So I'm going to use the replicate demo because I've got some replicate uh, account money in it. So we are going to use the flux PLUID. So I'm going to just delete my existing prediction, go to this repo. This is the demo of the person who created this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload an image. We're going to do a couple of options. One, I'm going to upload the image of Anne Hathaway here. And after I upload it, there are a bunch of things that we can try. You already saw my Pixar sticker demo. So where you try to create a sticker, this is going to be extremely useful for a SaaS product. Imagine you want to create a SaaS product where anybody can upload their picture and create a sticker, but they don't have to wait for you to train or fine tune a LoRa. So no LoRa at all, but you can train a personalized sticker. I mean, it's quite insane. So I'm going to show you how much time it takes. I'm going to just call it Pixar sticker or a uh, women sticker, let's say. I'm going to just go ahead with this and then run this. Ideally, I should have given Pixar because that will give you the cartoon character effect. Effect. Uh, I'm not sure what will happen in this particular case. This is a prompt that it, I did not try before. And then there are certain negative prompts that are added to this. I'm not sure how much of an impact the negative prompts will have. Okay, so we have got a woman and we have got a sticker. This is 
super interesting that is super amazing in fact it captured the details about um, the earring that she has got and there is an earring so we can try some other prompt that they have given us here so one of the prompts that they have given here is uh, if you see here it is a uh, portrait side view so let's try portrait side view I'll go back here and then say portrait side view so what we are trying to create is okay we have uploaded an image that is friend facing and can we see if it can use the exact same image and then create an image that is slightly like side view so the next one i want to do is i want to use this prompt exactly here and then try here okay this is portrait side view is it exactly like anne hathaway maybe a younger version i would say uh, but you can see the portrait is good like it's uh, fairly easier for you to generate this and the next thing i'm going to try is a woman holding a sign with a glowing text um, i can just say uh, flux is great run this i hope the text is not messed up here so all i want is a woman holding a sign that's green glowing text that says flux is great and as you can see here it takes a few seconds to be honest and after the few seconds you will have this image okay flux it left is i'm not sure how similar this is to anna hathaway but um, this is how it is so now at this point we have tested it with a white skin human which is usually what a lot of these systems do well i wanted to also try with a uh, uh, brown skin so i'm going to use uh, danush in this case uh, whom we have been training for quite a while so i'm going to search for danush i'm going to pick one of the pictures of danush in this case i might pick this one and i can say the same thing a man holding a sign with a green glowing text flux is great so i want to see how exactly it can take this particular face and then put it on different scenarios right now this works mainly with the faces and also kind of with styles i'm not sure okay yeah it is not that great i would say um the the image did not translate very well maybe it's slightly like the nose but i wouldn't say it exactly looks like danush so let's try with a different picture in this particular case so if you do not want realism then this could extremely work well because um, realism is one thing where you might want to do a lot of uh, lower of fine tuning but this is like some places where you want something very instant so i'm going to go ahead like for example like a snapchat filter or something i'm going to go ahead with the same thing a man holding a sign with glowing text there are some hyper parameters that you can play with for example the weight of the id image influence so if you see this the weight how it is inserted the time step to insert the id has a huge impact so they suggest you to do 0 to 1 for stylized scenes and for photo realistic scenes they recommend you using 4 i've tried with 4 i did not get great results okay this one looks closer to danush um, maybe like let's go with 0.5 yeah and uh, we are going to go ahead with the same thing a man holding a sign with a glowing green text that says flux is great to see if it comes closer to the realism of the picture in my testing uh, it works extremely well uh, for a uh, women and uh, for men uh, i think there is yeah for men there is a little bit of i would say not so much of realism i'm not sure if uh, the model has any bias towards women in this particular case but for women it it does a pretty good job so i'm going to go ahead change it to one again and yes i'm going to go ahead and upload a picture of ann hathaway once again because that is i don't i don't think i've got any other women here in my computer so i'm going to go ahead with ann hathaway and i'm going to just simply say um picture sticker honestly i think like the sticker generation is like out of box a no brainer use case for this particular thing and um, uh, you don't need lora for it like people were using lora for that and with the uh, pl p u l i d you don't need lora for this <laughs> why why is it adding the heart anyways uh, yeah so this is this is the final um, uh, model uh, p u l i d i think they might make some improvements there is an official github repository which talks about it but there is a hugging face demo and if you want to productionize there is a, like a uh, re replicate endpoint for you to do it there are a couple of use cases uh, you can easily use it for like for example like sticker icon generation um, and a bunch of other things where you do not need exact photo realism but if you need photo realism according to the paper the model does it well when you compare it with other ip adapter type models like ip adapter is something that i have used extensively 
But when you compare this model with other such solutions, ID insertion solutions, like IT, IP adapter, instant ID, PULID, the T2I without ID, this is, this is their own, I guess. And uh, you can see that this model, basically whatever they have created is pretty good. Uh, you can make like boxes, uh, you can make, um, you know, um, stylized images and a lot of other things. What you want to do with this uh, is uh, up to the imagination of the creator. Um, there is a lot of potential, I, I believe, to generate images in a few seconds and deliver it to the customer. And I think this is the best model for you if you were to do that. I hope this video was helpful to you in learning a uh, tuning free, no LoRa uh, personalization technique for flux models. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, all the required links will be in the YouTube description. See you in another video. Happy prompting.